Okay, sorry guys. I ran out of time. I need help with my time management. Okay, you should have gotten that that was all equal to one at the end of all of this. Okay, so just a quick look back on this lawn one piece. Okay, the lawn one comes from over here. If I know that lawn is the same as log base E, then I should be able to say to myself, <clears throat> pardon me, E to what exponent gives me the answer of 1? Well, it doesn't matter what the base is. It doesn't matter that we don't really know not much about E yet. You should just be able to use your math 30-1 skills to be like, well, that should be 0. That should be 0. Any base it to anything um, that's going to give me 1 has to be 0. So any base to the power of 0 is 1. So then when I distribute this through, I get that this is an answer of positive 1. All right. Question number 6. All right. So by my late rule, I have my product x squared ex to the dx. So via my late rule, I have an algebraic piece and I have an exponential piece. So the x squared will have to be my u. And then I take the derivative, du dx is equal to 2x, and then I rearrange, du is equal to 2x times dx, which means that dv is e to the x dx. The lovely part about e is his antiderivative is the same as his derivative, which is e to the power of x. Now we're going to put this into our formula. If it'll let me scroll. Perfect. Okay, step two. U dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. So we are doing x squared e to the x dx is equal to u, which is x squared, multiplied by v, which is e to the x, minus the integral of v, which is e to the x, du is 2x dx. All right. Is there anything that we could tidy up? We could pull, <clears throat> we could pull this constant 2 out. Okay, so we have x squared e to the x minus the integral. Sorry, I just said we were going to put 2 in the front, and then I didn't write it. Silly me. Uh, x e x dx. So I just like to write that in that order. Okay, so now we have to take the this integral. And what we're going to see here is that we have another product. So we have to do the parts again. So this introduces a step three, where we have a second product. Okay, so we have to use our late rule again. The algebraic piece will be the x, and the e to the x dx is your l. Um, sorry, is exponential. Um, and so the algebraic will be your u, and your e to the x will be your v. dv part. Okay, so we have... Uh, sorry, I don't know why I put that there. We have that u is x. So du is going to be the derivative of x is 1. Multiply your dx up. Okay. And then our dv is e to the x dx. And the antiderivative of that is e to the x. Okay, so these second products are a little tricky. You have to keep yourself organized because you still need the front part. So please don't forget this part. And then you're going to have to subtract two times the part that we're going to redo the whole rule on, which is a bit crazy. Okay, so we have <clears throat> step four. We have that x squared 
e to the x dx. Now this is the very beginning question. Is equal to our original uv, which was x squared, e to the x, minus 2 times the integral. So this is another separate. This is the second uv minus v du. This is for the second product. Okay. Actually, let's, yeah. So in the second product, u was x, v is ex, minus the integral of ex dx. Now that's a nice integral to take. And we can write that out x squared e to the x minus 2 times x to the e x minus the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x plus c and then we will just distribute our 2 through and tidy up that last answer. So it's equal to x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 times e to the x plus C. Whew. Those ones that you have to do twice are a little bit intense. You really have to keep track of everything. Make sure you use brackets. All right. A challenge question before we see a funky little shortcut. Okay. So example seven is really a challenge question. And if you're not interested, then come back and see us in the next video. Okay. All right, so in this question, we have e to the power of root x is equal to dx. Well, at first glance, this looks like it's not a integration by parts question at all. This actually looks like I would be a better off to try substitution. So in fact, that's why this is a challenge question because it actually requires us to do both rules to do this from what we know. So the first thing I'm going to do in this question is the substitution rule. Let's see what happens when I try this. So this is going back to lesson 11.3, and now you're really going to have to keep your stuff straight. Okay, so in substitution, we say let u equal a part, and it's usually something underneath a radical. In this case, I'm actually going to use the entire exponent, which is quite common in these e questions. So let u equal root x, then I take the derivative, du dx is equal to, so remember this is x to the half, and I'm taking the derivative of this. So this is going to be um, 1 half x to the negative 1 half, or you could write that as 1 on 2 root x. And then for substitution, I actually want dx, not du. Okay, so I'm going to have that dx is equal to du two times, sorry, two times. Let me get this right. I'm going to take this and multiply it up, and then this is multiplying up. So I have 2 root x du. And then we get to substitute in, OK? So step one of the substitution rule is to figure out what u is. Step two of the substitution rule is to then substitute it into your original integral. So we're saying that e root x dx is going to become the integral of e to the power of u. And then we have a two, I'm gonna put that right in the front root x du. Oh, well, now this is a problem because I've introduced a, a, an x that hasn't disappeared. So usually something cancels in our substitution rule, and this did not cancel. However, this root x piece is what we defined u to be at the very beginning. So, I'm actually going to use that right here and say that this is u e to the power of u du. Now I've introduced a product. 
and now I have a product. Therefore, I'm going to have to do integration by parts. All right, so that brings in, let's just go to the very next one. My, sorry, I don't know why I wrote three, two. Second piece of this is the integration by parts. So who is you? <clears throat> oh my goodness, you is you. So that's confusing. Maybe you want to use different letters. I don't know. Um, let's use M. Okay, so M is you. And then DM DU is equal to the derivative of U is 1. And then this is a problem when you have the same variable in two different rules. DM is DU. Okay, so that makes my rule being MV, not UV. Okay, and then DV is the other part, which is E to the power of U, DU, and the antiderivative of that will be E to the U. All right, so then I am going to write this out as my rule. Let's write this out as instead of UV, I have MV, DM is equal to, sorry, oh man, m dv is equal to m v minus the integral of v dm. You can see I haven't done enough work with these. Okay, so we have our integral is 2 times u e u d u is equal to 2 times m v. So m is u and v is e to the u minus the integral of e to the u d u. Last piece. So this is equal to, let's distribute the two through, 2ueu minus 2 times the antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u plus c. And then, of course, the very last step would be that, remember, way back at the beginning, u was root x. So we have to then resubstitute that back in. So this is that the integral of e root x dx, that was the original question, is equal to 2 times root x e to the root x minus 2 times e root x plus c. Wozers! That's a lot for a Friday morning. <laughs> That's this one I'm recording. Okay. So here is a very cool shortcut for these integration by parts questions that require us to do it more than once. Now, on your assignment, you can use the DI method to verify, but you cannot use it as your only method to find the answer, okay? So I do want to see the whole u v d v parts all four parts i wanted to see you do the whole rule on your question on your unit assignment okay so this cool little rule is just for verifying um or you know if you had a multiple choice question um then you for sure could use it on a multiple choice question okay so i'm going to pause the video i'll come back in the last video and show you this really fun 